In this video, I'm going to show a pure liposomic right hepatectomy for a patient with HCC and underlying liver cirrhosis under ICG immunofluorescent guidance. After insertion of the telescope, the lipoprotein was maintained at 12 millimercury. The ICG has been injected two weeks before surgery at the rate of 0 0.5 mg per kilogram. You can see there is a small nodule signifying cirrhosis in the left side of the liver. We use intraquisonian approach to dissect the hepatic artery and portal vein. After slinging the hepatic artery, we put a bulldog clamp temporarily controlling the info of the artery. We perform a doppler ultrasound to make sure that the left hand side of the artery is intact. The arterial system was double clipped and divided in between. The right portal wing will be dissected. Using this method, we can clearly control the portal wing individually. The right portal wing was controlled and controlled with a bulldog. We can see the demarcations of the right loop of the liver. Using ICG immunofluorescence, we can clearly see that there is one tumor in the right side of the liver, measuring around 4 cm in size. The right portal wing was doubly clipped with a hemolog, and it was divided in between. After divisions of the right portal wing, we can see there is a clear demarcation of the right lobe of the liver. After applications of immunofluorescent ICG, we can see the tumor nodule in the right side and we can see an additional nodule in the segment 8 of the liver, which is not detected before the CT scan. The liver parenchyma transaction was performed by using a Thunderbit device, which is an ultrasonic energy coupled with um, bipolar energy. The deep parenchyma was transacted using Accusa. A night open hepatectomy, there is a certain lack of tactile sensation in the prosopic liver resections. The surgeons cannot palpate for the tumor and search for additional nodules during laparotomy. In addition, there has also been suspicious for inadequate resection margin in the prosopic liver resection. The prosopic ultrasound could be one of the answers to these queries, but the result of laparoscopic ultrasound examinations depends on the experience and which may be difficult in patients with liver cirrhosis where there may be a lot of regeneration nodules that prevent a very accurate assessment of the situation. The detection rate for a small tumor by laparoscopic ultrasound is less than 40%. Although nowadays contrast CT scan provide a very good imaging of the lesions inside the liver, it will still be good to have a good sensitive real-time assessment of the tumor, which is easy to be used with reliable outcome. Indocyanin green immunofluorescent technique may be a good method to supplement detection of tumor in patients with XCC and cirrhosis. After careful dissections of the liver parenchyma, the inferior vena cava is fully exposed. The inferior right hepatic vein is controlled and divided. With further dissection through the liver parenchyma with cursor, we can see the right bowel duct which can be controlled and divided by a vascular stapler. The major advantage of ICG immunofluorescent imaging is its sensitivity and visibility once the ICG retention test has been performed one week prior to surgery. Surgeons can obtain immunofluorescent image of the liver cancer with the camera system easily. Although the ICG retention test had not been widely used as a preoperative liver function test in recent countries, this test is important in evaluations of safe limit for hepatectomy in patients with liver cirrhosis. 
In this case, we can see the right hepatic vein was fully exposed. A vascular stapler is applied to the right hepatic vein, and the right hepatic vein was divided. Small oozing was noted at the edge of the transaction site. It was temporarily controlled by compressions, and the specimen was put into an endo bag. After compression, there is a shrinkage of the leakage site, which can be controlled by intracorporeal suturing. This is a very important set of skills that a surgeon should have mastered before attempting to do major hepatectomy. This can be performed exactly as what we have done in open liver resections. When there is a site of bleeding, we control it with uh, ligatures. The advantage of limoperitoneum, it will actually reduce the flow of the bleeding. Right hepatectomy has been completed. The specimen was retrieved through a fan and steel incisions.